if you're into circuit board design, uh, there's a really interesting feature of a program called KiCad. After you've designed a board, you can, well, to, to, to the point where you've not routed the traces yet, you just place the components and you're ready to start routing traces. And it, um, you can actually stop here and then let the program route the traces for you using the auto router. Now the auto router is actually a separate program called free router and it the way that it works with KiCad is you export a Spectra DSN or design DSN design file which contains all of the layout of the components of your board I'll show you with that so first you want to do a board setup and set your trace thicknesses and clearance rules for each I just have default and power which my power traces are actually the same um, and then go to file export spectra DSN and then just save it anywhere and then when you come to the free router just open it up and you will get something that looks a bit like this except without the traces just go ahead and click auto router and it will start attempting to draw the traces one at a time and you'll see it uproot traces commonly and put them in another place and shift things around and it may take a couple hours. I think I let this run um, for a majority of the afternoon and I'm not sure exactly how long it took but maybe say two, uh, two three hours perhaps and it looks like it did a pretty good job I watched it. It initially had 60 through vias, and then it kept tweaking it down until it got 45. So it really has optimized the design. And once it has completed, and you go back to File, Export Spectra Session File, and it will make another .dsn. And then we can come back to KiCad and File Import spectra session and this will bring all of the traces right into KiCad. In case you're curious what I've got here let's check it out in 3D. This is um, an Atmel SAMD51. It's a newer chip loaded with features but it's a ARM Cortex M4. Well, look at the detail on some of the components of this 3D viewer. You'll notice that not only are the pins present, but the solder pads have a little bit of thickness, and even the traces themselves, as well as the silk screen. This board is a clone or a near clone of the Adafruit Feather M4. Um, just with a different components, a few a few different versions of the components, based on what I could find available. Um, but the pinouts are the same. The schematic is pretty similar, so I would expect it to be compatible with the firmware. Um, so it, it'll run MicroPython um, and or. Arduino or something like that, but it'll be pretty neat.